Um, I'm going to do a real quick video. Happy Sunday, by the way. Um, having my Sunday coffee. Position it so there's not a glare on the video. I want to do a really quick video. Um, I always think they're going to be quick, but I wanted to emphasize something that I want to make clear to everyone, no matter how strange it sounds, so that they actually understand where we are in reality. You are being governed by a group of people, entities, that we have never known about. We have seen their servants throughout the course of eons, thousands of years, dating back to Babylon, all that stuff, Egypt. Uh, the most recent manner in which we've seen them exercise their uh, reprobate type of cultish behavior is in the fascist Germany example, where they did the same things that they're trying to do now, uh, which is um, oppress the German people with violations of all kinds of heinous activity, stealing of children. I mean, how many thousands of children were stolen during the Nazi regime that have never been accounted for? And we just assume, you know, they were put in concentration camps, whatever, but they could be sacrificed. They were, they were tested upon. They were tortured, uh, same as the adults. These people are servants. The people who, who created and brought forth the the Nazism, the fascism, the totalitarian tyranny of fascism, which is ruled by a single union, such as the Bar Union, which is who ruled Germany, uh, and ha and currently rule all international banking and all states. The Bar Union members, as esquires who operate for the Queen, uh, under treaty in our country, and for the Pope under treaty. <laughs> uh, are here to oppress the will of these hidden people who probably are above uh, the Pope and he is a servant they the Vatican is a servant of their paradigm these people entities could be transdimensional beings could be aliens from alter worlds and dimensions realms whatever they could just be uh, old remnants of the very uh, a very ancient cultures that have lived here that are gross and just reprobate pursuant to our modern concepts of reality who still control um, the old servants um, of them that have served them for thousands of years I don't know who these entities are um, what I do know is that St. John says that evil comes through us and so what that tells me is that these vessels of our soul are um, subject to possession and being controlled by unseen forces, principalities. However, they're brought to us. Um, there's a variety of ways, biblically and spiritually, in other in other spiritual um, constructs, that the body is made uh, to be a servant to these people. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the glare out of the way. And one of those is. Uh, by creating misery and creating a morally vacant soul where you want to give up and leave this realm and uh, there's a concept called walk-ins in the Christian faith um, in the more evolved Christian faith where people become so <clears throat> morally vacant that their their souls leave and then these evil spirits walk in and take over the body um, if you're a fan of sci-fi <laughs> There are often <clears throat> uh, movies about how the vessel of the human flesh is taken over by occupation of foreign entities. Worms, spirits, oozes, black oozes, little things that get in your brain and take over your thought patterns. Um, it's the same concept. And so it doesn't really matter if we're going to call them spirits or alien entities or whatever. The fact of the matter is, is is that it, there's a precept that the human flesh is but a vessel of that can be occupied in a variety of fashions and it could be occupied by the spirit that God put there the God the one true God that 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 nature created and brought forth or these paradigms which they oppress upon us could bring us misery and or torture the flesh and cause those souls to be to vacate 
or to be pushed aside, which is what monarching, uh, the concept of monarching is about, uh, and allow other entities to manipulate these vessels. And they're walking around, you know, much like in the Matrix, you know, they're walking around uh, like normal people, looking like they fill a function that really just programs, right? That the that Mr. Smith pops in, the agent of the of the uh, the uh, master overseer, the cogniz the the master co consciousness that's controlling the energy of the paradigm, not the paradigm itself, because you know Neo comes in and takes that paradigm over and becomes a new master of it by inserting himself as the master of the instrument. So that's really the paradox and, and the parable and the allegory of the matrix is that your flesh is, is just a vessel. And that's kind of the concept of where we are for ourselves in that you guys have to stop walking around like vacant vessels and resurrect the spirit and the flesh. That's what the resurrection is about. The hypothesis is, is, is the divine spirit that God goddess put in this vessel taking control and operating and walking the law in the law of God in our natural state of lawfulness we are we are born in balance with goddess and nature and as the French philosophers promote the state pulls us from that divinity and, and they actually believe that there was not any purpose of state but to pull uh, mankind, humanity from their divinity, and I'm starting to kind of, you know, agree with them, uh, because as of yet, I really, historically speaking, when I research, you know, there have been good men uh, who have, uh, sorry, my dog's drinking water, there are good men and women who have occupied these um, these positions in state, but it seems there's the whole concept of all uh, power corrupts absolutely is sorry about that uh, so I don't I didn't want the sound to interfere with what I was saying so um, you know there are there are a variety of ways in which our flesh is being attacked and manipulated and for the purposes of killing our flesh uh, just outright destroying its existence uh, and or and or causing the spirit to be vacated so it can be manipulated and controlled or the flesh being uh, manipulated and controlled with you in it you know the the soul that God put there in it uh, through you know the, the the interference from all these things and so you have to look at historically I just want to historically give you a reference here you know the the fascists came in and sprayed the Jews with fluoride okay that they sprayed everyone with fluoride that they didn't like okay even the German people were sprayed with fluoride gas to make them more submissive okay we are eating tons of fluoride in uh, that is being produced and delivered to us via our water uh, baby formula is the worst uh, source of fluoride I mean they are literally fluoridating you for the same purposes that the Nazis did which was to uh, to uh, you know vacate uh, make you more pliable to their occupation and their crimes and then you have the food that we're eating which are poisons and now we have this presumption which I've seen some videos on it and it's very concerning that we're actually being uh, attacked by biological warfare weapons um, by our by, by, by agents of our own government uh, that are allowing this to happen and are operating within our government to allow us to be um, you know exposed to genetically modified uh, types of bacteria and um, flukes and all these we don't even know if they're human we don't they could be from Mars we don't we don't or wherever that is you know we we don't even know that these are um, uh, infectious diseases or alien life forms that don't even come from here these could be genetically modified specifically for the purposes of interfering with our neural pathways and our consciousness so I know this all sounds really absurd to people who are not open to anything but this very restricted material flesh uh, football Sunday paradigm but the fact of the matter is is that most spiritual teachings talk about these things and they talk about how we are subject 
to these types of influences if we are not of the right mind and spirit and that we are uh, do uh, live dwell in a malleable environment uh, that this flesh you know we we didn't we embody this flesh we we incarnated this flesh God helped us helped our mother incarnate this flesh and then we uh, occupy it uh, in spirit and that occupation by spirit can be doesn't have to be us you know we can it can be taken over it can be we can be roboted by a variety of activities by other people and um, these are spiritual constructs and when I look at the Bible I don't think about you know necessarily devils and stuff like that I think about aliens things alien foreign to me uh, unseen forces principalities that have the capacity to do these things to us and to manipulate the flesh have been working at these for thousands of years but particularly since you know you have to remember the Nazis the Nazi scientists that did all these horrible things that half of which we don't even know about because they did a lot of occultist stuff and a lot of demonic satanic ritualistic stuff uh, Hitler was very into um, into Satanism and all the occult practices and calling forth demons from trans I mean just that all that stuff all that stuff that the Bible talks about as a possibility and that the true catechism of the Christian Church of uh, the Roman Catholic Church and Christian tenets talk about Jesus talks about it okay the prophets talk about it uh, they were very into those those scientists after World War II were not tried and convicted for crimes against humanity like four dudes that were like little corporals were that's it that's it people I mean there's very few convictions of all the horrific crimes that the Nazis put against the the world and that's because they were servants to the people running the world that still run the world right now and those were servants oppressing that stuff upon the German people and the world in toto the same thing they're trying to do here using the exact same methodologies like from the beginning to the end they're, they're doing the exact same things so those Nazis were not tried those Nazi scientists they were brought here they were brought here they are in your government they have been influential in the evolution of your government since World War two okay the same people that oppressed all these horrific crimes against humanity and did all these experiments these horrible heinous experiments on humans which now the science of that is being used on us by the way okay that's that's what they did they took the researchers doing all these horrible things on how to manipulate humanity and brought them here it's almost like uh, and at the time you have to remember that at the time before the rise of Hitler and stuff the uh, the Germany was one of the prevailing democracies of and republics free republics of the world it had one of the best I mean they had economic issues but the people had created an environment that was multicultural and uh, and this this putting people against the other was a fascist construct and ideology where the people were 100% manipulated in what they were to believe and the things that were going on and they and they were lies they were propaganda they were they were there to to obstruct and obscure the truth to mislead through propaganda what truly was going on again 1984 these are all constructs that have been brought to us um, by you know science fiction and political uh, fantasy types of books and, and and constructs they're telling you what's going on here people but the larger point of this little short little thing is that you are being we America is now the target of these people because we are the prevailing democracy and free republic of the world that also happens to be controlling the monetary unit of the world and so if you control our government you control the money of the world and uh, you can manipulate it and steal lands and the sheets and children all these things all you want so we are the target of the same group of people that that affected pretty much every war we've known but they are using the exact same playbook that they used in the Weimar Republic and Nazi Germany it's not hard to see folks and strangely enough the same people that did it in Germany were brought here and made part of our government and have used all of that horrific scientific information that IBM helped them correlate and 
Ford motor and shell and them help them you know it, people don't realize that during the war there were American companies that were funding or, or being paid by both sides the Nazis and America you know both sides of the war to provide them with tanks and cars and gasoline and stuff so these world industrious don't care about war in fact they make tons of money on war that's the mili that that's the uh, the military industrial complex really that we're talking talking about here are the economic industrialists that make money off the feats of war of nations so in wars the industrialists and bankers always just run off with the bank and then the Pope who is their master in truth uh, it then throws these countries into susticate trust for rebellions so it this this is I this is a business model to overthrow and undermine the property and the sheets and the shadows of the world and they have been using this business model for thousands of years okay it's just now we're able with all the ability to look at all the information and historic facts that have been presented to us we can actually look at them in a, in a, in a protracted you know historical sense and go wow they've been doing this for a long time this is a perfected business model but their business model depends on one key element and that is the willful ignorance of the people and then the willful ignorant people willfully doing nothing to fight uh, these types of activities at the root and to stop their progression so I say what I'm saying on a Sunday because I really need everyone to contemplate one broaden your mind uh, as to what is possible uh, because if not you're going to be incredibly shocked here in the near future and probably incapable of functioning if you ever find out the truth of the matter in, in in toto because I truly believe that that the truth is even more preposterous than we're perceiving right now as to what's really happening and who's controlling these things and 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 you have to understand that we could potentially be be being um, invaded by uh, a form of life that is foreign to our realm that is invading our flesh and our mind and and has created vacant reprobate vessels um, and, and I personally believe that has a lot to do with why they steal children and torture them and monarch them is to vacate the souls of those children of those innocent children and to be able to manipulate their flesh uh, to, re to create servants uh, of the devil um, but but that's me from my spiritual construct and, and also my scientific knowledge it, it's totally possible that these things are, are doable with the human psyche so um, and consciousness so you know it's potential and that's why there's this you will know them by their deeds it, it's not about the uniform it's not about the hat it's not about the state of men they come from it's about the deeds that these individuals and these entities within these flesh the vessels of our flesh are doing and you really should only judge them by deeds uh, not not hold anyone in regard of anything um, based upon that and I don't mean deeds that are promoted in propaganda I mean deeds that you can factually prove that you've seen with your own eyes that you hear with your own ears and there's thousands of testimonies about that in the corruptions of the judiciary uh, thousands upon thousands of people that can speak to the corruptions of uh, the first-hand corruptions of, of Esquires of the Bar Union but I mean you really all potentially need to um, entertain the fact that we are currently in and have been for many years uh, under a trans-dimensional or a foreign alien invasion where they have slowly surreptitiously um, acquired many many bodies vessels of flesh and have taken them over and are using them uh, to undermine you know our our reality our world our freedoms our safety um, and to uh, for the strict purposes of just harvesting us like cattle and uh, and they're doing it surreptitiously because they know if they did it overtly that we would beat their ass so uh, and and this can be an alien uh, of a, it just, just see it as alien uh, alien is in not of us uh, not you can you can put whatever term alien you can alien up there you can transmissional spirit I don't care the fact of the matter is is there are people entities that are not of us 
that come through us that can use us these vessels against us and that's what they're doing and so those of us who know we're not <laughs> of them need to start really entertaining and understanding this construct and you need to you need to cast aside doubt of possibility and uh, start having just accepting some factual constructs that are spoken of in the Bible and other spiritual realms and in science, science fiction, all these sources of these people saying, oh, this is potentially possible. And things which are actually substantiated and potentially founded, you know, in scientific method. I mean, that's the beauty of, of us be being a scientist and being so highly educated in the sciences is that the higher you get in science, the more it actually proves divine creation and this divinity to all things. Um, the chaos in you know theory uh, of physics, and then and then you know the golden rule. All all these scientific mathematical methodologies prove a higher order to all things, and th so I have no problem being a highly educated scientist and uh, rationalizing or merging my faith uh, in spirituality and the embodiment of spirit within the flesh and all that with with what I know in science I, there's no disconnect for me and most scientists don't have that problem it's only religious people who don't know science that want to manipulate you know that that want to argue that science is is antithetical to spirituality and religion it's not it's it's really not not in the higher not in the higher understandings of it you can't look at some of the foundations of mathematics and physics and and argue that there isn't divine balance to all things it there just is it just is so there are things greater than us that exist and we need to start to accept that and start opening our eyes to what's really happening here uh, because when I see videos of entities crawling out of praying mantises that are twice their size and these tendrils of fluky worms and 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 peep I mean I'm just seeing stuff on the internet that are live videos and testimonies of of, of what appears uh, things that were being attacked with biological warfare um, from our uh, from our from within our own government, and um, that's what the fascists did in Germany. So, you know, I'm not saying our government's 100% fascist, but there's a whole lot of people in some really high places that are being allowed to affect fascism upon us within the instruments of state and I keep speaking to this coup that's going on and right now there is a fight in our world in our government between good forces and evil forces and you all can hate Trump all you want I mean but in my mind I think he's a good force because if Hillary were in office I can guarantee you we'd already be in full-blown fascism and the world would be a much more horrible place right now than it is so that tells me that Trump is doing something to thwart this evil that has uh, come over our world again, and and I believe that this is the, that this is the Antichrist that um, is prophesied not only in the Bible but by Nostradamus and, and some other prophets. Um, you know that 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 the Antichrist is a is a is a shroud of darkness that comes over the world, um, and uh, I think Nostradamus, uh, when, when, whenever in referring to Nostradamus, I believe that he felt that the two of them were Hitler and then the, the, t the period of fascism from World War II and Hitler being a representative of that and then Napoleon, the Napoleonic era. Now I don't necessarily know if Napoleon was a bad dude, I haven't done enough research on him, but I do know he gave us Louisiana Purchase uh, with Lodeo title, so I don't like, I don't, I think it couldn't be that all, all that bad, you know, and maybe that's the duplicity of humanity, of each man and woman, that there's a malfeasance side and a good side. So in his malfeasance he was, he, he brought the first uh, you know, Antichrist, the shroud of darkness to the world with the Napoleonic Wars, uh, but then in the end, you know, turned around and gave us Louisiana Purchase uh, to atone, atone for, atone, excuse me, atone for all of his ills. I don't know. I'd have to do more research on the dude to, to uh, assuming the research was accurate historically, right? So I think that we're entering, we're already in. Um, the, the period of the last Antichrist, which is a dark shroud that has come over the world in the form of world totalitarian fascism in the form of a 
Babylonian banking paradigm that has been on a constant march for the last hundred or so years to subdue all free-thinking people uh, with Babylonian slave trade and uh, banking systems and slavery and that's where we're at and that's just the facts I mean I, I'm not I don't I'm not happy about these facts but I'm also more intelligent en enough uh, to know that it's a moot point to argue facts and that exist and you just need to accept facts and then see where you stand in the light of reason and logic on how we're going to get out of it and the more people argue against these facts uh, that is that is the tool that uh, that allows this type of of ideology and this cultism because that's what they are they're just a cult of Satan they're they're a cult of people who, who do horrible things to humans uh, they are inhumane um, they they torture children they dismember children they bleed children they do they do horrible things to people but it when you do it to a kid it seems that that should be an, a, an exemplary uh, um, profession of where your morality lacks you know like when you do things to kids that is a, every normal moral common man knows that you know when you do things like that to children you are not a nice person there's something wrong with you up there man and there's definitely something wrong with you here okay so if this is you know if in world war ii they were stealing all these babies under fascism not in the same way jack boots running in just stealing kids and, and entire families i mean they haven't they're not stealing entire families yet but actually they are they're putting the families in prison you know they're actually they go in and they and they arrest these parents and then while they're under arrest they they force them into contract with their little demonic little system and say if you don't sign this we're going to take your kids away but if you sign this we'll give your kids back after we we kind of review your family you know and we see whether or not they satisfy our state concepts and and so they're they're doing the same thing they're 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 putting the parents in prison and they're put and they're dis disappearing the kids that's what they did in nazi germany folks that's what they did so you all need to wake up um on this sunday to where we are and that's that's really all i wanted to say here and i can't really explain it any differently because i know it to be true and i i accept it and so since i accept certain truths i don't have a problem seeing everything else around me the truths that are there as well so i'm hopeful that you all really start to understand that when you look left and right at different people they may not be in control of their minds and their hearts they could be instruments and tools of of a cult that has perfected the manipulation of the flesh uh, so that they can take it over and control it and all these things and only the strongest of heart and mind can re can resist that and you can't be strong of heart and mind if you are unwilling to see the truth and I think that Jesus speaks to that so I'm hopeful that you all find the strength to open your eyes and see you know see with your eyes and hear with your ears what is truth so that you can um, be protected uh, because if you don't perceive an uh, uh, an evil if you don't perceive something that can harm you you can't protect yourself against such constructs if you don't even perceive or entertain that it's a possibility that you could be attacked by it that you could be subjected to it so i am hopeful that in the in the immediate future that more of you will um sit and contemplate over coffee on Sunday how um, we are being spiritually attacked by foreign alien forces that are not of us uh, from principalities on high and and that's those are all biblical references folks uh, which you know you can call it the devil you can call it the red dragon you can call it what you want what I know is is they are foreign to me they are not of my temple uh, that is of my flesh they are not of the court without a temple given to the Gentiles which is what the promise chosen people of America are and so they are of the red dragon and they are foreign to me and they are um, not divine under uh, the concepts of our law and shall be judged by God as thus so happy Sunday <laughs> 
contemplate um, how the biggest tool of the devil or any type of instrument that is there to invade you is your unwillingness to see uh, the evil that's before you. So, peace be with you and all of your relations. May we all have enough. And I love you all. Namaste.